Good evening, everybody. How you doing? My name is Bacchus. I'm out here with my homeboy, Eric. We are off of Patong in Phuket, which is the party city, party capital of this small island. So I just want to introduce my man, Eric, I met out here, uh, who's living the dream. He's living a lot of brothers' dreams, man. He, he lives out here full time. He has a business. He's been here. How long have you been here? Seven years. God damn, boy. I don't know if I want to be here that long, but I don't know. Find the right one, she might keep me here long enough, so we shall see. So anyway, Eric, man, without further ado, go ahead and tell, you, tell the people who you are, where you're from, and what got you out here. Okay. My name is Eric Davis. Uh, I am from New York City, Queens. Um, I came out here because of a different life and a different atmosphere. It's totally different from the States than here. They're more f open and free. So I enjoy that, you know. So I am um, considered as a black gypsy. So I, um, I move around, you know. I've been to 32 different countries. 32? 32 different countries. And I was tell you that uh, Thailand would be number one for me, but I'll be lying. It would have to be Vietnam. I love Vietnam. Right up the street. Vietnam. That takes you, what, what, hour and a half flight from here? Yeah, about an hour and a half. Yeah, hour and a half. Why Vietnam over Thailand? Oh. Because they're more accepted to black folks. they more, uh, go they, they embrace blacks. Anything that embrace blacks and treat you like a king and a queen, I'm all for it. Only reason I would not live there is because it's communist. So it's hard to do business there because, mm. you know, I like to do business. So Vietnam is definitely one of my best countries I've ever been to. Then Thailand, you know, I, 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 it's definitely my second. So being here, you can allow to do your business, you know, do just the way you want, get your money, do what you need to do. And when you're ready to have a little fun, just hour and a half flight. Yeah. In Vietnam. No, okay, that's what I didn't know that. Okay. So what what made you wanted to travel? Like what 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 got you hooked in the first place? Well, I tell you the truth. This was never my dream. Thailand was never my dream at all. I do aerospace for a living and I was working with this guy. And every day on the job, he used to talk about Thailand, Phuket. And he made a dream, and I stole his dream. <laughs> <laughs> you stole another man's dream? God man's damn. Dream. Yeah. You see, that, that's what happens. If you don't do your shit, if you tell everybody else, somebody else might live it for you. Yeah. So is he still back home? He's still back talking home. Talking that shit? Yeah, he's still talking. Well, I'll be sending him pictures every day like, hey, man, I appreciate was, that dream, bro. Yeah, you it, know? Was, it, it, was, it was definitely his dream. It was never, ever my dream. Um, Thailand was the farther thing in my mind. Okay. But, you know, he made it so beautiful, and he, he told me how it is. And he did not lie. So you came out once, came out twice, and I was like, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Came out once. Uh, I, I spent a lot of money. Uh, one month, I think I spent over ten thousand dollars in one month in one month i didn't know what i was doing it ain't tricking if you got I, it I, 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 was eating, I was eating all the good places mm. and, and then i met this young lady um that last week that i was going to leave and she she's like what the heck you doing she took me out to that expensive hotel got me a little reasonable hotel it was the same thing, but it was just Seems a lot, lot cheaper. And then instead of going to eat at these restaurants, she took me around the corner, served the same food, a lot cheaper. You see, that's, that's what it's about, man. When you meet somebody that's actually going to help you, yeah. you, I mean, you got the money, it's all good and whatnot, but it's still willing to help you and show you a, a different way of doing it. You know, that, that really, really means a lot. So not a lot of people, some people be like, oh, you, you spending that kind of money? Let me just jump on the bandwagon and roll with you and spend your money with you. But they was out there trying to well, legit help you. So, okay. So you came out here. And then the second time I came, um, I spent in one month, 
$1,000. That sounds and better. And I said, you know what, this is what I need to be at. Because in New York, you know, $1,000. Yeah. <laughs> so when you open the door, you're spending two or $300. That, that, that gust of wind just yeah, 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 takes it, that it, money it, away it, no matter what you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, so. So uh, you said 32 countries. 32. What, were you like, are you military or nah. you just, just no, for the fuck of it? Not just for the fuck of it. So what's the so anybody wants to come out here to Phuket and hang out? Now you have this bar and you have the 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 the, the, hair, salon. the hair salon. What's the name of the spot so I can shout you can shout that out so people can come check Sabar you out? Sabar Barber. Sabar Bar Barber, off a of nine nine road. A nine nine road. And this bar is called Sabar Barber. Sabar, and the barber shop. Okay, barber shop's on the other well, side of the well, wall. Well, this was the original plan was. Um, the hair salon was going to be the hair salon, but the bar was going to be half bar, half barbershop. So we had enough space to set up a barbershop in the bar. And I told my girl, I think that was a dumb idea. I said, why would you want to do that? You got a hair salon, why can you make people in the hair salon make that barbershop too? And then make this as a bar. So. Okay. It didn't work out, put it that way. Fair enough. You know, sometimes uh, things start off at one and then it just yeah, kind of yeah. go. In fact, let's go ahead and get these. Uh, you need to come in here and what are we sipping on? We got this uh, San Miguel Light. I actually like these. Uh, oh, 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 shit, God damn it. Oh, yeah. I rocks with it, most definitely. Um, So... You've been out here for six years. Seven. Seven years, my bad. Seven years. Just been in Patong, or have you like done other parts of Thailand? Uh, done other parts. Uh, done other parts, but not live. Just, just visit, hang out, check visit, it out? Yeah, all right. Okay, yeah. all right. What uh, time machine, what you've learned in the seven years being here, what would you tell yourself Fresh off the boat out here. Besides spending that ten racks in one month, God, I'm I'm so mad at you for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I had the money, so it didn't really hurt that bad. Right, right. And I didn't know what I was doing. So. What would you tell yourself or anybody coming to Patong now, looking to start a business and move out here? I would tell them, don't do it. <laughs> uh, it's it's a very hard process. Um, it's a lot of moving parts here. There's nothing in Thailand is consistent. Things mm. change like the weather. Okay. So it's always in a gray area here. So to start a business here, it's, it can be very complicated, and especially if you don't know anybody. So you have to take your time because I've been here for seven years. Four years of that seven years, I did not have business. Oh, so the, the, the business is recent? Yeah, three years. Okay. From what I've understood, what I've been told is uh, if you start a business today, or on Monday, mm -hmm. and then your man try to start it on Friday, another business on Friday, whatever you did on Monday may not work on Friday. No. It's, the landscape's always changing. Yeah. It's not just like, okay, you go down to the city, you give them the money, get your paperwork, you get this, and it's, it's not. You really have to know or they're gonna take your money, oh, they, they, eat they, your they, lunch real. Oh, yeah, they, they'll eat you up for they eat you up for breakfast. See, the first thing people make the biggest mistake people do is they get business and they uh, put it underneath their girl's name. That's the first mistake because once you have fight, she's gonna take the business away. A lot of horror stories with that. So with me, I set my business up as a corporation. Mm. So I have people on the board, because the only thing you can have is 49%. So if you set the board up and give one person 10%, another person 10 until you get to 51, but none of the Thai people know each other. So they cannot join together and say, hey, let's take his business. Now that's, that's smart. Yeah. Uh, now from what I understand is, you can't own a business outright, you know, you just uh, but, but, 100%. But, but no, but see now, uh, like right now, I'm, I'm dealing with the lawyers right now. I'm pretty sure 
because I'm an American. Americans are the only people that can have business, 100% of a business. Really? Yes. So it's different for the, uh, uh, the Aussies, the yeah, Brits? Yeah, right. We're the only one. And see, Ooh. now, I don't know how much money you have to spend in the business to get the 51. I, 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 it's a lot of paperwork with that. Like I say, mm -hmm. I am um, dealing with the lawyers right now. So um, they will come back and let me know what I can do and what I cannot do. But uh, on the safe side, if I cannot get the 51%, I would definitely set up a, a board. Okay. It's a little expensive, but it's, it's it, it, it is worth it. You know, it's, okay. it's protecting your money. So, since you've been out here, how has your family back home? Have they come visit? Have they, no. you know, they they begging you to come back? No, like, no. what's my family is not begging me to come back, and they did not visit me, uh, because you know, to come here is a lot of money. And right. People don't have that type of money. I, I know my family. I know my family does not. Um, they they proud of me. But they um, they know I'm okay because, like I said, I consider myself as a black gypsy. You can you can put me anywhere in life, I, I I'll come out fighting. Right, right. And, uh, I've always been very successful with everything I have done because I I guess I take chances. Okay. I'm not scared. So I know most of the people that I rock with, most of the travelers like myself, they gotta know one question, man. How the ladies loving you out here? Man? Well, you know, I tell you, um, I guess because of, of my look, um, um, look kind of exotic to them and different. Yeah, I can so spot I you from three I, blocks away I, with them dreads, man. Right, Ain't nobody I, else got that. <laughs> and, and, and the ladies treat me very well. And sometimes it's overwhelming how they, how they attack me, you know, it's like, Wow, and then people say, I wish they do that to me. They always want money. But when it comes down to me, they don't ask me for money. They just want to be around me. Is that because you've been here for a while and they no, kind of know I, you? No, or? I think I, because I, I look exotic. I'm different. The exotic look. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm not African, but I look African, but I speak very good English, and then I have my dress, and yeah. my style of dressing, and my my. It's my swag, and they enjoy that. You, you told me something the other day, and I, I really had to process that. You was like, because uh, I, I liked, your, liked your sunglasses. I'm like, where'd you get those? And you was like, man, I get everything from the yeah. States. I don't get nothing from here because I want what I want. I know how it fits me. And you're absolutely right. Like, I'll go to Big C, and I'll get like a shirt or, or some socks or something. But if it's anything like major, it's like I'm calling one of the homies. Yeah. Hey, I need a care package. I need you to send me something. Yeah. So I'm most definitely doing that. So no, that's... I, I could not wear a, I could not buy anything here because everything here is bootleg to me. And uh, and I come from the fashion district of the world. That's New York. Yeah, most definitely. So uh, everything, I, I go home when I go to New York, I go back with a little book bag and I come back with two big suitcases. <laughs> <laughs> so how often do you go home? I go home maybe once every six months or maybe once a year. It depends how I feel. Okay. Uh, depends uh, how my lady uh, get on my nerves. She get on my damn nerves, I'm leaving. Yeah, I die, I promise you. learn today. Yeah, I'll yeah. be back when I get back, yeah, I'll, right? back. I'll, be back. I'll let you sit here and think about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, I'll leave. She, I, she I'll definitely leave. can chase me away. <laughs> I don't like drama, you know, and, and Thai women are very dramatic. Okay. Very, very dramatic women, you know. So you came out here, stole another man's dream, I'm with it. You, you've been living here seven years, you, you, you got your, your, your lady, you got your business. What's, a, what's a, a, a typical day for you? Like, you get up, like... What are typical, you trying to do? My typical day is to try to be as lazy as possible. <laughs> <laughs> try to be as lazy as possible, man. I think I, you just don't get out of bed. You just sit I, there. I, I just relax and just take it easy. You know, uh, don't move too fast. Don't move too slow. Uh, I also have a house in Poketown, Poke so sometimes I go home. 
and sometimes I stay here. So I I just try to be as lazy as possible. That's the it, it's, it's good having the place in Party Central, uh, 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 Patong, and then he has a place in Old Town, which is one of my favorite places on the island. Old Town's like, what, a 15, 20 minute bike ride. Uh, it, it's really nice, it's really chill. It, it's exactly what it is. This old Town is very, a lot more quieter and peaceful. Quiet, peaceful, just chill, so you get the bounce back and forth. So yeah, just be as lazy as possible. Has your health changed since you've been here? Oh, okay. Better, worse, uh, like? I don't know, I could not, cannot say. I think when I go back to the States, I get sick. Uh, Cause I have asthma, so I get real sick when I'm in the states. Here, I don't get sick that much. The food, the air, the I don't know. Just when I go back to the states, I always get sick. Um, getting asthma attacks, and, and then I come back here, I'm, I'm fine, you know. God, I just I, I I know once you're home stateside, you just have this. You just wake up with this this thing on your shoulder, just the all this pressure, all this you know, things you have to do. As for here, you wake up, I wake up here and I'm just like, oh. no fucks given. I left my bag of fucks at customs. I, I think they still hold on to it, man. I, I get it when I get it. But that's that's cool that, you know, life's been been good here. So what's, what's where you see yourself in the next, like five, 10 years? You going to stay right here? Uh, I, well, you know, I, I, I can never predict the future of what God had for me. Whatever God has for me, I flow with it. I, I can tell you into what I'm gonna do in the next 10 years. Because if I do tell you that, I'll be lying. Uh, I get, when you get to a certain age, you don't plan 10 years, you plan <laughs> day by day. Right, right. And, you know, 10 years, I may not be here. I ain't got time. To, if I was younger, then I can do that. But you know, I'm 60 years old, so I mean, 10 years, I'll be 70. Shit. The hell I'm thinking about doing, but uh, we're trying to get some more sleep. <laughs> <laughs> wake up, wake up to a nice little pretty young thing. Yeah, yeah. Call it a damn day. Yeah, it's call over. Call it a day, you know. Uh, time okay. to live the dream. Ah, 60, man. Gee, I'm, I'm only. Uh, I, I just got into my 40s, so most definitely in 10 years, I, I'd like to be where you're at. You know, I'm, I'm in the path. I'm already, I'm already here. I'm on path, so we, we, we good for now, man. But man, I appreciate you spending a little time kicking with me and you know letting my homies know what's up, that it is possible for you to just get your shit and get the fuck on. Yeah. You dig? But, you know? but see what about America, people don't realize and don't understand. I love America. I enjoy America. I love New York. Everybody wanna go to New York. As you know, that's a place do you wanna be. And a lot of people ask me, why did you leave a, a country in New York that people are dying to go there. And I tell them all the same answers. I love New York, I love America, but New York and America do not love me. Mm. So I have to go somewhere that where they love me and they love me here. Yeah. Go where you're appreciated, not right. where you're tolerated. Right. Yeah. You know, I, I prefer to spend my money here than spend my money in, in New York. I, I could, I could most definitely respect that. I'm from Brooklyn myself. I grew up, went to Erasmus High School. I, I, I know, I know the deal. I know the hustle. And going back, man, you just get back there and you just like, this is not what I know. This yeah. is not what I remember. I'm here for a week and I'm getting the fuck on. I ain't gonna extend yeah. my trip. You going you come out of Thailand, you be like, oh, I'm gonna go for a week. No, then you stay. Then you be like, all right, all right, let me let me funk swear a couple more days. I'ma stay two weeks. Yeah. You go back to New York, it's like, I'm gonna be there for seven days. Next thing you know, day four, he's like, shit, can I change my flight yeah, early? early? Let me yeah. get the fuck out of yeah, here. Man. Out of, yeah. Spent 10 grand already, man. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> but man, it's cool, bro. I appreciate it. I love your bar, man. I love the setup here. Most definitely it's nice, cool, and quiet. And yeah, it's it's a chill spot. So most definitely you guys come out here. You want to get off the beaten path. You just want to have a beer. You just want to chill and get your hair cut and just relax. Most definitely come check my man out over here. And uh, we'll keep it funky all the way, man. So, Eric, man, I appreciate you. Anytime, young man. Anytime, Appreciate young man. you, man. All right, you know, I'm old. Snap, boy. crackle, pop, man. Is yeah. that what I heard? Yeah, that's what you heard. That's what you heard. <laughs> nah, man, you too young for that, man. Yeah, like, okay. I'll tell you what, Thailand's going most definitely uh, 
put a, the, the, the age clock back a little oh, bit. Oh, yes, he did, yes. yes you know, yes, most, yes, yes, he did. You I can drink a beer every day and still get younger, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you're drinking it because you're happy, not because you, you need to decompress. It's a, it's, a, it's a difference. It's a difference. But, yeah, man, most definitely uh, check the bar out and appreciate you guys joining me. I'm going to holler at y'all later. As soon as I figure out how to work this. I can do this remote right here. I love this. Let's get to do all that, see ya. I just hit, here we go.